Hello, my name is Chris and this is Writing Delight. Today I'm going to take a look at the topic of learn to write fountain pens. This video is mainly aimed at parents, but it might also be interesting for experienced writers to see the fountain pens they use to start writing. After all, there are fountain pens too. For parents, however, the problem is real. Which learn to write fountain pen should I buy for my child? What should I look out for? What is important? And another problem is that there is no real help. Teachers are not really allowed to recommend and retailers are often lucky to have just one such fountain pen. Unfortunately, qualified staff are quite rare and can't give advice themselves. Neither on fountain pens nor even less on learn to write fountain pens. Although I have to say that there are of course still excellent retail stores with a lot of experience and knowledge. They are just rare. First of all, I am not an expert on learn to write fountain pens or the subject of getting children used to writing. But I have delved deeper into the subject and spoken to experts. Why am I making this video? I've been asked several times by friends and colleagues with children who told me that I know all about fountain pens and surely I could help. But I also had to familiarize myself with the subject. I don't want to withhold the result. In this video, I go into the special features of school pens and what is needed here. I also show a few learn to write fountain pens from different manufacturers. And of course, we also look at these points there. The fountain pens are Lamy RBC, Schneider Base Kit. Online switch. Stabilo Easy Birdie. And Pelican Graphics. Incidentally, most manufacturers recommend the children start with a rollerball pen from the learn to write range. These pens are less sensitive to pressure but help with posture. What is meant by this will certainly become clear here. Learn to write fountain pens are normally designed for children's hands. My position is therefore of course not ideal. At least not a reference. But children can't grip fine pens very well. That's why most learn to write fountain pens are thicker, generally larger. You can see that clearly here. You should keep in mind that these fountain pens are not designed for adults when you hold the pens yourself to try them out. Ideally, the children should be able to hold different fountain pens in their own hands. The fountain pen should lie well, be easy to grasp. It is important that the child can hold these pens well and comfortably. It is also important that they hold the pens correctly. For this reason, learn to write fountain pens normally have more or less pronounced indentations so that the fingers are optimally positioned for writing. This means that the middle finger lies under the pen and is then held by the thumb and index finger. But what is also visible here, there are pens that support the hand position very precisely and well. There are fountain pens that are different for right-handed and left-handed people because the posture is other way around. It is important to buy the correct version. This is the only way for the child to hold the fountain pen correctly and avoid frustration in the long term. With some fountain pens, these indentations or resting positions are so pronounced that slipping is also made more difficult. But you can never prevent this from happening. That's why Stabilo and Pelican have a more concealed nip. So that it's harder to touch it when you ride and slip off. With the Pelican, it goes so far that it can't manage to touch the nip when riding. With other fountain pens, there is no protection here. It's also not a problem if the nip is touched. 
However, your fingers can then smudge with ink. One point that some manufacturers also emphasize is that the fountain pen should be as difficult to roll away as possible. After all, most pens are round. And if a fountain pen rolls away and falls under the nib, it's broken. Let's move on to the nib. Most learn to write fountain pens have a special nib thickness. The A strength. For beginners, this is not a nib thickness that is normally used. There is no fixed definition of such a nib. But nibs that are easy to write as possible are usually produced. Can you also learn to write with a so called M nib? Yes, of course. The differences are not that great. But if the manufacturer has done it right, it will be a little easier with a beginner nib. One point that parents need to be aware of is that children do not yet have the fine motor skills and like to press down much harder on a fountain pen. Much harder than is necessary. I've tried to press very hard on the online switch and Pelican graphics on purpose. You can see how the nib behaves. These nibs can withstand quite a bit of pressure, but of course they can also be damaged, especially if this happens frequently or too much pressure is applied, like here. And as a fountain pen fan, I would like to mention that I found it very difficult in my heart to treat a nib like this. But a fountain pen is never immune to accidents. For example, if a fountain pen falls down and hits a nib, even a learn to write fountain pen can't withstand that. Fountain pens are more sensitive than ballpoint pens. But why learn to write fountain pens at all? When ballpoint pens are easier, more robust, there are several factors. For one thing, a fountain pen is an excellent way to practice good writing posture. Just because a ballpoint pen or a pencil writes in many hand positions doesn't mean it's good. It can even be harmful, and long text cannot be written. But handwriting is an important asset. I'm not just saying that as a fan. There have been scientific studies that prove that knowledge is easier to remember if you write it by hand. Because it takes a little time. You spend more time with the text. Something that is not the case with a computer. On the other hand, handwriting with a fountain pen is also prettier than with a ballpoint pen. And if you use a fountain pen correctly, you don't need any pressure to write. This is hardly possible with a ballpoint pen. Another important thing for parents to know, of course, is how to fill these fountain pens. And all learn to write fountain pens are so called cartridge pens. The fountain pen is simply unscrewed and a full cartridge is inserted. After removing the empty cartridge, of course. There is a so called standard international format. Most cartridges on the market correspond exactly to the standard. A Schneider cartridge fits into a Pelican and vice versa. The big exception in this selection is a Lamy. Lamy has its own system and requires its own cartridges. However, there are also combination cartridges as offered by online. These can be used in Lamy fountain pens and others if the length fits. Another interesting aspect for parents is the care of such fountain pens. Fortunately, hardly any care is necessary here. But if you want to, or if the fountain pen writes badly, you can clean it. 
To do this, remove the cartridge and place the front piece with a nib in water and leave it there for a while. Then of course, let it dry well. This is usually enough for these fountain pens. For more options, including for more upmarket fountain pens, I've made a video that I've linked for you. So, if you are faced with the choice of which learn to write fountain pens to get for your child, I hope this has given you a few ideas. You have been able to see the different fountain pens. Have a look together with the child to see which ones they like. Because it is of course an also important point. Nobody writes well with something they don't like. And then take a look at the selection to see which one you think makes sense. Every child is different. Some children are more careful than others. Some need more support as with the recessed grips. This video can't make the choice for you. But hopefully make it a little easier. To give you a better overview, here are the fountain pens individually. The Pelican Griffics. Here you can see the recessed grips very clearly. There is also a left-handed version. The little smile should be at the top, a small indication that the fountain pen is oriented correctly. The pronounced grip indentations are intended to prevent slipping and of course encourage the correct grip position. If you do slip, the lip is very well covered. During normal writing it is difficult to touch it when slipping. The online switch. This pen comes with a second attachment, so that you not only have the nib in one pen, but also a roller ball. The switch also has a stylus tip on the back. The Lamy ABC. The Lamy ABC has been manufactured in exactly the same design and materials for many years. We have a wooden body with the plastic elements. It's the only one in the selection that requires its own cartridge type. The Stabilo Easy Birdie. The Easy Birdie has very strongly molded recessed grips. These are not necessarily shaped in depth, but also designed to give the fingers a better grip. The nib is also slightly protected here. A special feature of this tool is that you can loosen the nib at the front and change the angle of the nib. There are a total of three positions for this. Simply so that the writing experience is even better in the hand position. The tool is included in the set. It can also be purchased separately. The Schneider Base Kit. The base kit comes with two barrels, one short and one normal length. This allows you to adapt the fountain pen to the size of the children's hand. Of course, a replacement cartridge does not fit into the short barrel. I hope this video has helped you a little. You are also welcome to write in the comments below. I hope you make a good choice and that your children have lots of fun with the fountain pen. You might also like to take a look at the other videos here. They are all about writing by hand, normal for adults, various fountain pen reviews, tips and tricks. I would be delighted to see you here again. See you next time.